They're green. Blue-green. Okay, classic shot. You're talking about these here? Yeah. yeah. Aren't they nice? They're very nice. And then that long strip of them over there, long row of them over there. I think we saw a long row of them before. They're, they're bigger now. They're practically nursery school age. Oh man, this is wonderful. I'm so glad I came. Yeah. Now, anyway, I get halfway back down, I won't wish I never set foot in the place. Oh, you'll be fine. Yeah, I think so. Little by little. Yeah, this is. Well, they got to thin out. I mean, you could oh, almost take a couple out just so that... Dead stuff out. There. Anything you want to tell the world? What? Anything you want to tell the world? Hello, world. <laughs> We're practically out of it here. You're out of the world? Yes. But I'd just almost rather be in this world than the real world sometimes. <laughs> I kid you not. Yeah, I think yeah, you're in good company. This is the place. This is the place. No wonder I call it Shangri-La. Now, though, with so many trees totally wiped out. I mean, can you imagine when these are all green cypress trees? Yeah. You saw them? No, yeah. you didn't see them before. I, didn't, I never saw them before. Yeah. I saw the ones way over there that were already drought, diseased, yeah. having some, some real issues, but these were in pretty good shape. Well, imagine how it was when these cypress trees were all green and lush. That's why I call this area Shangri-La. What do you think these big ones are? Oh gosh. I haven't a clue, but really, but a hundred or two hundred, who knows? Whoa! Well, you know, they grow very slowly. These came up three years ago, the spring of 04, two and a half years ago. And 